collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Optopotamus coming with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Terracon Cutthroat. For the packaging, this is the front of the box. This is the side of the box with a really nice, fairly up-close image of Abominus. As well as molded into the actual clamshell, you have the different logos for the Prime Masters. And this is the back of the box. Go ahead and pause it right now in case there's anything on the back here that you'd like to read. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And here we have him opened up and out of its packaging and obviously in his flying beast sort of mode. And much like all these new figures, he does come with a nice collector card with some really good art there. Now, Power of the Prime, Cutthroat, come around in the back. And in this configuration, they have him combining with Alpha Trion that allows him to know the strategy to eliminate any enemy. Sure. Oh, okay, whatever. But here he is, and uh, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with this guy. Uh, now, oh well, except for that. Uh, the base mold for this is Swoop, uh, but it is a heavy retool. But if you know how Swoop kind of was, uh, you basically have that with this guy. Looking at his uh, accessories, he comes with his gun. As you can see, he can peg right on there. Really nice kind of dual barrel gun right here. Very similar to his G1 counterpart. Unfortunately, I don't have that. And then he does come with this hand. And again, much like all of these, uh, the hands that come with the individual deluxe you know, figures themselves are all kind of color coordinated. Uh, so you got the purple, you got the kind of muted yellow, much like the rest of the figure. The only thing that's really missing would be the green. And then much like all the other ones, you can take this, you can take one of these, you can pop that in there like so, or I did find them, I found cup. We can put cup in there. So there's that, you, you have that as your little play pattern eh, sort of thing. You can also have this be a gun, which is kind of silly. Uh, as you could kind of see uh, around the back here, you got two little slots that uh, when you have this position out, you got the little tabs on the insides of the thumb. You can take that and peg that in there. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, some of the uh, other deluxe figures, the, the incorporation of the prime armor kind of looks a little bit silly, but it does look pretty good uh, here with, you know, a uh, cutthroat. Uh, and then you can put that in there, kind of complete his overall look. Uh, for the beast mode though, uh, pretty decent looking. Uh, the wings are articulated. You can flap those there. You can see that they hinge up and down. You got a little swivel section right here. The legs at the hips move forward and back and then the knees also move forward and back. Uh, you can also open his mouth. Uh, I do want to mention that the uh, head is a little bit loose on there. You can open the mouth just like so. Uh, this section right here, this is another case where I really wish they would pin things in because this comes off well now it's not going to do it <laughs> it comes off easier than i would like it to uh, come off but i don't think it's really all that bad to be totally honest i mean it's staying on there uh, your mileage may vary is a kind of phrase thrown around it, it definitely could vary i mean that's true with every transformer video you might get loose ball joints whatever the case may be uh it's got his little purple tail i guess you could kind of say or purple green <laughs> colorblind you can see that moves up and down as well uh so for some comparisons with some of these other guys uh here we have him with ripper snapper the little shark dude and here we have what there he is so monsters monster bots Rawr. okay so get these out of here now predominantly in you know, a cutthroat uh, in the ter in terms of the cartoon and uh, even the g1 toy was for the most part a leg and that's what i'm going to have them as so to go to that you just kind of fold these up they don't tab in or anything rotate this section back like so is there a little no, no there's little tabs right there fold that like that you can bring these down and then take this entire section i recommend grabbing hold of the side right here and then when you pull it it's not going to make the head pop off so fold it like that rotate this bit out and around and uh, let's see, where's the little feet at? There we go, bring in one of the foot. Plug that in right there. Uh, again, uh, much like all of these, uh, I think that the uh, ankle is way too big. I, I wish there was a, a little less gap right there, but this is how I'm gonna have him displayed. He's gonna, oh, actually, you're supposed to take these, rotate these around. You got little notches here that lock in to the wing, so rotate that around like that. Uh, so. 
that's the official look. Now let's bring in Hunger as a Abominus. And then again, you just will slot that in there like so. And uh, again, I'm really liking the way that this is turning out. I think that looks great, obviously. He's got that articulation sort of thing going on right there. Really happy with how the overall look for Abominus is shaping up. Uh, I, I do wish that the feet were a little bit bigger. That's something I'll cover later on. But taking that out, setting him right there. To go into his arm mode, really all you do is kind of rotate that piece back down. You can kind of leave that up like that and then these legs here are going to get this kind of out of the way these legs will swivel out ah, come on detach detach crazy leg thingy why are you not swiveling out that's like really wedged up in there i don't there we go pull that out and then you squeeze these halves together leave this up like that now they also uh, will tell you to take this rotate this spin this around and then you have another little slot section that the uh, little tab here will swivel in and lock into uh, because obviously you can't keep that locked in there uh, for the elbow articulation so slot that in and then again you bring these around and these will tab into place there uh, the official uh, way of doing it would be this is the elbow joint um, again it's for me it's personal preference what you guys want uh, I know I've said that many many times that maybe you guys want to have uh, a double jointed elbow but you just take this peg that up in there and then you slot that down the arm perhaps come on come on what's what's happening what's a happening that's what i'll say there we go bring that down like so so uh there's uh cutthroat as an arm again personally i like having this rotated around uh and then that up as an elbow. I mean, usually when I'm going to display it, I'll probably go like this so that this is on the outside like that. But I like having that double bend for the elbow. I just think that looks a little bit cooler and that separate them. Keep that together. Uh, so there you see Cutthroat as an arm. Again, I will do a full video with all of the Terracons combined for Abominus here in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. To go to his robot mode, you just remove that and here you're pretty much already done. Take this section, rotate that around, bring these back, kind of position these however you want, detach these. This gets a little bit tricky for me with uh, no fingernails, although I do kind of have them on my pinky. There we go. Rotate that around like that. And you split these legs just like so. Then you take this head again. Hold this piece right here. That gives you some leverage. That's going to fold forward. But this gives you leverage. Uh, now, I, I, I don't mean to call him out. Uh, I, I have no problem with Spada or Bolt Matrix. But one of his complaints was uh, this. It said that this is up too high that it doesn't go down any further and that he tried. Well, he didn't try very hard because it does completely go down a lot further. Uh, just hold on here because, I mean, he had it like that. Just hold here because if you pull down, it'll probably pull the whole thing out uh, just because these little nubs aren't very good. But you can totally see it shifts down. Then you can take this little piece right here, tuck that down. I kind of like leaving it out a little bit, honestly, so just keep it out like so and when you're done there you have cutthroat in his robot mode and again another absolute wonderful looking figure uh he does have a similar look to swoop obviously but i think that with the remolded parts it comes across very nicely now uh, he does have his gun uh, i'm not 100 percent sure i mean you got a couple different parts and stuff here i'm not 100 percent sure why he's got this uh is he meant to hold it upside down i never had the g1 toy but he can hold it upside down like that if you wanted to or you could 
put it that way, which obviously you get those details there, but uh, I have no idea. But overall, yeah, absolutely loving the way that this guy looks. Great head sculpt there, very uh, Skeletor-ish almost when you, when you kind of look at it, but I think he looks really good. You got a nice Decepticon logo there. Good paint applications with the silver, the green that uh, the Beast Mode had really still come through very nicely. You look at the chins of them, which are kind of like the, the lower portion of the torso, has some really nice paint with some silver and blue. I forgot to kind of show this. Where's I know that uh, it's on there. Let's lift this up. Oh, uh, uh, on his uh, torso is that little Decepticon logo that kind of looks like one of those original G1 kind of rub signs. wonder if you can... No, you can plug that in there. Why would you do that? Why would you plug that under there? I, I don't know. You got a hole right there, but again, just bring that down, kind of hold the head, and then squeeze the two halves and bring that down. Works perfectly fine every time. Uh, but really a good look for this guy. Now for uh, some comparisons, let's do it. Here we have them. And here we have them next to the other uh, deluxe uh, Terracons that I've taken a look at so far. Again, same great scale. The colors uh, across the board look really good. I think that's one of the aspects that I really like about these. The colors are crazy, but they pop. And I think uh, that it's, it's almost kind of a disappointment that most people are going to display him as Abominus. Because individually... All of these look really very, very nice. Uh, for his articulation, the head is on um, just a swivel. Uh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like it's a ball joint, so it's just going to go left and right. The ball joints for the shoulders here allow a nice range of motion. You've got swivels for the upper part of the bicep, hinges here at the elbow. I guess you could kind of say the wrists move in and out. Uh, the wings are in the back. You can move those up and down like so, and then they have hinges here and swivels there, so you can kind of position that however you uh, see fit. Does rotate at the waist. As I showed, he can be a arm, so that would be the uh, elbow. And then you got ball jointed hips. They move forward. Uh, doesn't really go back very far. Uh, looking at it, kind of like the, uh, the back section right here kind of rubs on there. So you don't get it moving all the way back. But honestly, how far back do you need to go? Moves forward pretty good uh, in and out decently. Rotates at the upper part of the thigh. Bends at the knee, nothing at the ankles or anything, but that's fairly standard. But I, I've, I really do like the way that this guy looks. I, I think that uh, even though that they are using a lot of other figures, they're remolded enough that they give a completely different look and feel. And I love what they're doing. Now transformation back to his beast mode. Uh, again, grab hold of the sides, angle this up, bring this uh, little crest piece all the way out and then just put that over his head just like that take these arms you rotate these around and then you take this little tab on the inside well the bottom i guess i should say of his forearm and tab that in to his hip section fold the hand up like that do that on this side as well tab that in fold the hand up then you take this entire section and this will hinge up and around do that on this section as well. This is really tight. There we go. Hinge that up and around. And you bring these all together, including the tail. Squeeze that just like so. Fold the tail all the way down. Take these little bird legs. Bring that down. Bring that down. And then angle these wings down like so. Fold these out just like that and when you're done kind of position him there you go get it like that there you have cutthroat back in i don't even know what this is like a flying bird i don't know it, it's a cybertronian vulture birdie thing mode but there he is again honestly the most impressive aspect about these figures i feel is the fact that i don't have any connection to these characters whatsoever and i really do like the toys that hasbro produced I mean, yes, all of these are basically just kind of remolds of, well, a lot of the Dinobots. But I'm really quite impressed with how they were able to repurpose them into the Terracons. I mean, when I look at this, I can kind of see Swoop, but I don't instantly think of Swoop when I look at this guy. So to me, 
that's a huge, I guess, success story with these guys. The colors look great. Transformation is very similar, yet a little bit different, especially here, like with the legs, because Swoop didn't have those. And it gets to a robot mode that I think as well looks just as good. As I mentioned earlier, it's almost a shame that a lot of these uh, Terracons are going to be displayed as Abominus because individually I think they look really great as well. This is almost a set that you could get two of to kind of have in multiple displays. So again, to me, that's a huge compliment. So, I mean, if, if you're a fan of Abominus and the Terracons, these are definitely figures that I would recommend picking up. Uh, if you're just a fan of good Transformers, these guys look good as well. So, without question, I would recommend picking up Cutthroat. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. In each time that you do, one of your Christmas wishes will come true. <laughs> also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or if you already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.